Here we have a Lenovo laptop that came in for repair. This one was mailed over because of a backlight issue. You are not able to see a backlight on the screen. The image is there. When you turn the laptop on, you do see an image on the screen, but the image is so dim to a point where you would think the screen is off. And that's called a backlight issue. Now we already disassembled the board right here. And we're gonna take a look at where the screen plugs in. We already attempted to replace the screen just to make sure the problem is not the screen and the problem is not the screen. So we're going to inspect or diagnose this area of the board where the screen plugs in. And I want to see if we have any issues there. I worked on a Razer laptop two days ago where we had the same problem. We had a blown backlight circuit. So if we look here where the screen plugs in. I do not see anything obvious. Nothing stands out as being faulty. I do not see any fuses here. No burned capacitors. Clean. We're going to flip the board. I've worked on many Lenovo's before and the backlight circuit or the fuses are usually on the back. We do see two MOSFETs on the back. We see a current sense resistor on the right. We do have a fuse here and that fuse is labeled by FA1 right there, H. We have another fuse here labeled by F. When you see F on the board, it's a fuse. F, F, right there. That's another one. And we likely have one more here. F, V1, right there. So we're going to check on those fuses, make sure they are good before we proceed to doing anything else. Let me rotate the board because this shield is bothering me. Make sure all the fuses are good. If one of them is blown, we're going to test for a short circuit. Make sure we do not have a short circuit because if we do have a short circuit and we replace the fuse, that fuse is going to blow again. So let's measure in diode mode 0 0.43 reading, 0 0.43. This fuse is good. 0 0.43 and 0 0.43. This fuse is good. Oh, wow. Fuse connecting to a well, the fuse is blown. 0 0.47 and nothing. We got it. We got it in what? Five seconds? We got it. And this component is likely size 201 or 402. One of the two. Let's remove that component. Can we use our hot tweezers for this? And we should. We can. We should be able to. We do not have a short on either sides of the fuse. So we can safely replace the fuse. And we should be all good. You may be asking yourself, what caused that fuse to blow? The customer likely did some modifications to the laptop without disconnecting the battery first, and that's how that fuse blew. And I do see a Samsung SSD drive installed on that laptop. So the customer likely upgraded his M.2 SSD drive, and he did not disconnect the battery first. And that can cause issues with the backlight circuit. In this case, a fuse blew. And we have a fuse right here that we can use. But first, fume extractor on. And we're going to use the NF dot mini pan to apply solder here and solder right there. And we're all done. The fuse is in place. Let's use SkimTech wipes to clean the board better than factory. 
And if you do not already know, we now carry and sell Chemtech wipes. You can purchase Chemtech wipes off our site, along with everything that you need for your shop, whether you are a hobbyist or you are in the business. Everything that we sell, we use on our bench. We already tested the tools. You can find everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal cameras, power supply, charging stations, voltage injection tools, tweezers, braid wig, original Inventec, Amtec Flux, everything. We carry all items in stock, log in, order, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. And if we measure, and the job is done, we replace the fuse on back of the board, right over here, on this area. I'm gonna hand the board over to Big Bus to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. Hello, hello. Let's check on Big Boss. So the fuse that we replaced is located on back of the board where the screen plugs in. And that's the battery connector. Plug it in. Are we gonna get an image, a backlight? Yes, yes. Laptop is working. We have a backlight now, and we are able to see an image on the screen. Awesome, great, we did it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Thank you, Big Boss. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.